everybody welcome back to my channel it's a horse thing i actually just got a package that has some horses in here that i would like to unbox with you guys so they were also just off ebay so they're um some are really old so i know plenty of people who just throw the horses in here and that's the end of that and i see bubble wrap oh thank goodness so it well it's not easy for me to fix so the first model is oh wait i just only pulled out two. Oh wait because they're packaged i'm actually gonna keep, thank you for the bubble wrap i will be keeping this and using this in my packaging um so first off we have i actually this is the paint mare which I'm not a huge fan of her. I made one repaint of her for my shop a while ago. Um, and she sold, but I don't really like her. And then I think this is also the paint stallion. Gelding, sorry. The paint gelding. So that's him. And they actually look like basically brand new. Okay, she has a mark on her there. And this side is pretty scratched up, but that's fine. Um, the gelding, however, he, the only thing that looks a little weird is the muzzle. He's got a little scrape on him. But other than that, I will probably be holding, I might hold on to him for a custom, and then I'll probably redo her and have her for sale on my Etsy as well. So, again, I'm trying not to because I pull these guys out. But this is going to be the next one, which there's a lot, there's a lot in here. Wow. Okay, so I bought, I bought 15, um, if any of you guys are wondering. So, let's see what's in here. I, okay, that gives you guys a little bit of an idea of what's going on. So I actually, okay. Um, so obviously, like... Somebody painted her, or flowers melted, or something happened, because she has pink all over her. <laughs> she has it on the mane, she has it on the tail, she has it on the front. It's okay, though. Um, I actually only have one model of this, and that would be, for those of you guys who don't know her, this is a repaint I did on her. So she's got the dapples, and then I took the flowers out and redid her. And then we have this model. She will probably be a personal model, but there's a chance she'll be for sale on my Etsy. There's another model in here that I am very excited for to add to my conga as well. And she just happens to be next. So if you guys don't know and you haven't seen my custom video where I showcased all my customs, you should definitely go check that out on my channel. But this is the 2005 Frisian Mare. And I have four of them right on the shelf above where my camera is right now. I have a bay. I have a blue roan. I have a um a palomino-ish Tobiano, but it's not really a palomino. And then I also have a dapple. Um what I will do with her, I don't know because I didn't have anything planned. But definitely expect to see um her done relatively soon because she is one of my favorite models of all time. Next we have Wait, hold on. I'm trying not to rip all the bubble wrap in the process. We're just going to go like this. Okay, that, but he's not next. So next we, I don't know him either. He is not an Appaloosa. I don't know what his is, but I know that he is a stallion. So this is him. He definitely has a lot of scratches on him. Um, I do actually like this model a decent amount. Which, I'm trying to look and see if I have a repaint of him. I do not, which is kind of shocking. But, I do like him enough. Um, I just, there is a, the Mustang stallion. And, I don't like him because he just, his legs look weird and the mane and tail are all over the place. This one looks like it's more put together. And, I do really like this model. But, he will also either be for a custom for somebody who wants him or i can also have him repainted and go ahead and put him for sale on my etsy as well so this is the model i was specifically talking about oh it does have schleich on it 
what year? 2009. Okay, that was a good 14 years ago. So this is him. The, I can't pronounce it. It starts with an L and it's like a L-U-S. I can't remember off the top of my head, but that's what he is. Um, I do actually have one repaint of him that I really, really want to redo. I nicknamed him, who's the Scorpio Zodiac Chorus, which that is also more explained in my custom video. But I nicknamed him like Firework, but um, as much as I love this model, I do not like that repaint. So maybe I'll do a repaint on him and put Firework up for sale on my Etsy and see if any of you guys like Firework. He was not actually in my custom video. Oh, uh, let me see if I can reach him. Okay, so this is, this is Firework. He is very, very unique. Um, and has a lot going on. So he's like a very, very dark red. He's, a, he's a real brown red though, like muddy brown. And then his markings are very, very unique. And the amount of time it took to do that took forever but he's gonna go he needs to go somewhere else but he will probably be up for sale on my etsy really soon as well and my etsy shop will be linked down below or if you don't want to use that link which is just easier that way my shop name is kara horse crafts and then this model i'm also not a huge fan of i actually have one of him right now but his tail is missing i have one second yeah so, this is him right now. His tail is gone. But, um, he's not my favorite. I just, I feel, there's no mane on one side, and I feel like there needs to be some mane. And then, his position is not the best. I feel like if I, uh, if I bent this leg in, like I, um, chopped it off and redid it, which I actually did that on a briar horse, but that is another story for another time. But, I feel like I might like him a little bit more. Um... But I also did a really terrible dapple on him years ago. Like, literally, probably one of my first repaints. And I will put him here. But that was really, really bad. And I tried to redo the mane and redo the tail. And because that was my first dapple and I didn't know what I was doing, it looks terrible. I promise you I have better dapples now. Lots of dapples have sold. Lots of people like dapples. But they're a lot better now. So let's see what else we got. What is this? I just, I feel... Okay, okay. So these are some folds. Because there were some folds in this slot. I personally love the folds. But they don't tend to sell. So I actually don't know what fold this is. This is like a larger draft fold. Um, very, very cute. What year is this? Uh... I'm confused by what that number is. Hold on. Oh, this one's also 2009. Okay. So, or at least it looks like it says 2009. I might be wrong. Same with um, this guy. I might be wrong on that. But it looks like it says 2009. Very, very scratched up as well. <clears throat> um, He will probably be a personal model since not a lot of people have me do foals for a custom order. And they don't, they tend to not sell if I just put them up on Etsy, so. I also, do I have her? If not, I have one very, very similar. I think she's actually at the top. Um, I love the little Shetland ponies just because they're really, really cute. She is, she actually doesn't have a lot of scratches on her, but that's what she looks like. Whether she will be for sale on my Etsy or I keep her, I don't know which. You guys can let me know in the comments or shoot me a message on Etsy if you're interested because I'm not entirely sure. This is, I think this is like the third model I have of this one. I have, I'm looking up there. I have two Bella foals already that I need to do and I think one of them is already this model. They're just, they're super duper cute, honestly. I mean... <laughs> They're like adorable, but we'll see what's happening with that. So this is oh okay. So this is the same model. They are both the same model, but this one's a lot darker. This one also does not have. 
any scratches at all like okay wait there's there's one on the back but other than that like basically perfect condition and so yeah now probably one will be for sale on my etsy at least one if not two i also have this model i have not done a repaint on this one either but let me put this over here this is the it, i think it's the full that comes with the like vet set and the um yeah with the vet truck car thing so i think it's the arabian full don't quote me on that but that's what this one looks like and also pretty good condition also may or may not be for sale on my etsy as i said the folds don't usually sell so i don't usually put those up but those are the only folds and i still have a quick okay i was not sure if i was going to get that i saw it in the pictures but it was not in the description um so let me do these and then i'll pull that out so i have done multiple repaints on this model as well i did one as a dapple which is actually currently for sale on my etsy um, I think I did one as a bay at some point, but the Arabian there, um, I have some Pinterest photos of a repaint on her that I really want to do because I have one of her for me. Yeah. Okay. So I have one Dapple for sale on my Etsy right now. I have one prime model of these that I want to do for me, and now I have a third model of her, and... I don't know, will also probably be for sale on my Etsy because not many people have Arabians. And this is a horse I was very excited to have because I had a friend show me this model and um, because it's very, very old, I was not currently aware of it, but I really wanted this model too. What year is this from? 2006. Okay, so this is um, obviously a retired stallion. I don't know what breed but that is him and i just think he's super cute like he just he looks adorable i mean come on so this will be a personal repaint for sure because i really wanted that model for a long time well once i found out about it i really wanted it but it was a retired model and i was not able to get my hands on it so now is this which I did not think I was going to get this because it was only listed in the pictures. It was not in the description, it was not in the title, and I didn't know what was going on. But here's a saddle stand that I don't have one of these yet, shockingly. But it's just a super easy way to like hang the bridle and hang the saddle. saddle. I got an accent right there. Um, and I, I really, really wanted one of these for a while. And we do, I do have a 3D printer, like it's our family 3D printer, but I do have one of those and I really want to design my own saddle stand and maybe sell those as well. Um, if you're interested in that, please let me know because I will definitely do that, at least for me, if not other people. Then these are just random pieces that I don't know what to do with. It's like we have this, we have this. <laughs> Oh wait, this is a halter. Hold up, I need a horse to try this on. Oops, you. Wait, this is a halter. Okay, I mean, that's kind of cool. We have a little green halter. That is actually useful that I might... I probably will not keep all the tack that I have is purely made by me. I sell Schleich tack because I won't ever use it. Like, this is a piece from the Pony Play sets. Wait, I don't, I don't understand. I don't even know what this is. I think more stuff for the Pony Play sets. This was from, like, the Rider Cafe with the flowers. I, I, re I really just want this out of stand, I'll be completely honest with you. I, did, I, I don't know what all that other stuff is, and I probably won't use it for anything. So now back to the horses. This is 
a looks like a Walmart shopping bag. Yeah, Walmart shopping bag. Okay, this is really nice. I have a model of him that I was already gonna keep for myself because I really wanted to do a cute repaint on him. But now I have a repaint, uh, an extra one that I can repaint and he will also be for sale on my Etsy as well. Um, I might do like a Palomino paint with the blue ribbons, um, which takes inspiration from Sugar Rose Studios, but I really, really like that repaint and I kind of want to try it for myself, but, or maybe like a bay with dark green, probably one of the two, but now that will be another one for sale. And this is, this is sad, this is the last one, or wait. That might be all the horses. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's all the horses. So what's this? I don't know what this stuff is. <laughs> I can't even. Okay. Oh, it's more tag. Okay. I'm very confused by these bags. Okay, wonderful. I actually sold this tack on eBay um, about a, was about six months ago because I knew I wasn't going to use it. Now I have the exact same tack again. <sighs> it's okay. This is off of the stables. Like, this hangs on the stables for food. I... want this random stuff. I really just want the horses. And then this is a saddle. Um, a saddle as well. So really quick, here's a quick overview. Here's the retired stallion, the retired Frisian mare, um, the Connemara mare, which as you can see now, all the pink is messed up on her. Um, the little Shetland ponies, the other Shetland pony, the Falabella foal, may maybe it's a Shetland foal, but I'm pretty sure it's a Falabella foal. The larger draft foal, the, it might be the Tracaner, Tra yeah, Tracane, Tracaner, yep, but I think it's the Arabian foal. Um, we have the Clydesdale stallion, gelding, sorry, gelding. Um, the Arabian Mare, the Tricaner Gelding Stallion, I'm mixing them up, he's a stallion, the Lusitano, however you say it, Stallion, the Gelding that I don't know the, um, the coat or breed, the Paint Mare, and the paint stallion. So most of these will be for sale on my Etsy and definitely keep an eye out for those. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see and you would like to see more of my content coming up, please click the subscribe button down below and the like button. And please leave a comment for what you think I should do with some of these horses. I definitely will take all ideas and take them into consideration. So, um, a lot of these will be up for sale on my Etsy, hopefully decently soon. It kind of depends how much free time I have coming up. A lot of stuff will be happening this summer. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. I am also going to start posting more um, around mid-May. And I will start getting a lot more stuff up for sale on my Etsy this summer. And take you guys along with along a few journeys that I of stuff that I want to accomplish. So um, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.